Hello everybody, welcome to round 6 of the NAF World Cup Qualifier for 2024. We've got Whirly Dervish with the Wood Elves here who won the toss and elected to receive. Up against Misspell Tree with Dark Elves. Uh, both of these players need a win to have a chance. Now one of the other games has happened, so what, may, what that means is they have to score they have to win and score at least two touchdowns both of these I believe should I put spoilers in it I guess I could put it in like the in the order right because it is happening order so I can tell you exclusively Shanbert has won and scored two touchdowns so if Miss Bell Tree wins and scores two touchdowns she will be the lead 13 point contender um, if Whirly Dervish wins and scores two touchdowns, he will be joint with Shamba, and maybe will need some kind of uh, you know some kind of playoff. But both of them essentially not only need to win, they also need to win and score two touchdowns. So I like uh, I actually like going on receiving the ball here, Whirly Dervish winning the toss receive, because then you know you can stall out to the turn eight, you're one 0 up. And now your opponent has to just try and lose, right? Your opponent has to score early and, and, and lose 2-1, basically. So, um, yes, I very much um, very much back the receive here from Whirly Dervish. Hello, Seabrawls. The luckiest looker dog in the world. <laughs> uh, if we look at the teams, just score two. Yeah, it, it, touchdown difference is the first... Is the first tiebreaker, so you, they have to score two. Um, I'm not even sure touchdown difference is on the list, <laughs> to be honest, because the first tiebreaker is number of wins, and so for example, four wins would beat. Three wins and three draws, but obviously it's not probably not going to happen in this. No, it's not going to happen. That's not going to be a factor in this. Oh, it is TD diff. Yep. So it is TD diff. Okay. So Blood Bowl three is number of wins, touchdown scored, then TD diff. So. But they still have to score two, right? They have to score two first and foremost. And then it might go to touchdown difference after that. But if they don't score two, they just lose. Oh, no, I guess three, so three could score one and then be level with Shamba. All right. So Shamba is on plus three. So, yeah, three actually un only needs to win only needs to win one nil. Yep. So three can win one nil. Uh, wait, no, 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 because Shamba's on five now. But yeah, so it's still okay, so yeah. Tree still only needs one. Okay. So yeah, Tree can win one nil. Whirly Dervish needs to win three nil. Oh yeah, so really hard for Whirly Dervish. Whirly Dervish needs to win three. Oh, or, or, or three one or three two, right? So Whirly Dervish could win three one or three two. But two nil is no good. So yeah, Whirly Dervish actually... Oh, very interesting. Maybe Worthy Dervish should have received. Um, I well, did receive, and try to just bang it in as quick as possible, right, and make it like a crazy shootout. Mm, but yeah, a lot easier for Misspell Tree has a, has like the best, uh, the best, or a very good touchdown difference. Better to score more though, in case Davo loses but still scores when he loses. <laughs> oh wow, instant dub skulls. That's what you get for not blocking with a war dancer. I guess he wants to uh, put to the dancer. But of course could have blocked with this catcher, right? This catcher could have been on the LOS and just blocked with a catcher for 2D with block. Yeah, yeah, maybe should just receive. Yeah, maybe just receive and score, early. and just hope that it's like a three-two game or whatever. You really do need more touchdown score if you're a really dervish, and you've got the team to do it, and you know that Tree's trying to win as well, and you've both got elves, 
So yeah, maybe maybe, maybe you do just hope to turn it into. I, I, yeah, I think I would. I think I would. Like, like like what I did with like Hancock and Elliot, right? Like similar kind of thing, in the uh, in the era BB when we were like you know going four four and stuff, things like this. At the end of the day, scoring more touchdowns is better for both of you. So it makes sense for you to like to just do that. <laughs> okay, not not actually not actual um, not actual collusion. But do you know what I mean? Like, if you bang it in in two turns, well, they might think, "Oh, well, I can I can score in two as well," you know. So like, it's it's not actual collusion, but Glorious. it's like the best no, I won't strat give for in both of you, isn't it? Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. Oh. I will defend. Hello. Hello, Ace Flamingo. Thank you very much. Staying fantastic for forty-two glorious months. Absolutely unbelievable. Thank you. Thanks, Dimmy, for banning the bot. Wow. Dimmy hard at work. Amazing. So yeah, I think that I think that's the strat actually. Just try to bang it in as quick as possible, and then you hope that they bang it back in, and then. It is in both of your interests. Hey, she good. Nobs OP. In case you didn't know, so I'm not sure about. I'm not sure what this formation is here. By the way, it's very strange. Right, just a square, <laughs> and the player in here, very, very unusual. Um, maybe this is a new tactic. It's interesting. <laughs> loose cages. This is a very loose cage. It's weird, isn't it? Because like this is like a three-three-two to get through. So you don't really want to get through, and you probably can't reach. But um, you can blitz and then get loads of people through if you want, can't you? Which is interesting. Do you want people in this space? Well, tree does. This is the question: like, Is it good to put people in this plate in this space or not? It feels like it should be. Because you kind of want to control the middle of the pitch, right? So it feels like you do want people here, but then I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. I mean, I wonder who's getting blitzed. I don't wonder who's getting blitzed. <laughs> in case, in case you're confused. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, I do. I did. I'm an idiot. Apparently, it's fine to just leave a leave a bludger player in your backfield. Not what I would have done. Also, Lee, the you know this is like just bad, right? And I'll text. I'll explain bad. I'll explain why it's bad. This catcher should have been one back, so that if it's a push, your catcher isn't getting punched by a blitzer. And if it's a pow, it's okay still, right? But um, so that was this was just wrong because now giving away a hit. If he desisted from here, if he pals, he pals them to there, and they're controlled. If he pushes, he pushes them to there, and he's not getting a player punch for no reason. Um, it might get served. I mean, it's not necessarily right. <laughs> maybe, maybe this lineman's going to get served. Maybe, maybe tree will roll pals. You know, who knows? But yeah, that was that was very bad. Yeah, and, and it's 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 had like a compounding effect of trying to rescue it as well, and failing to rescue it. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't a hundred percent surf it because you've got to roll pushes, 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 right? 
well no, you've got all two pushes and then, and then you can power. I can categorically state that I would 0% surf this as I would block it and roll double skulls or double both down or double pals. You're only 55% to get pushes, right? So you've pretty much got, like, at least this has protected the catcher in that, it, you know, she can't 3D surf this catcher. Got to try and 2D surf the lineman now. The sack is not one you take. I mean, it's not easy at all, is it, the sack? Oh, skull. Does not reroll. I mean, if you uphill the tree, you've got a pallet. Well, I can't see what you mean, Seabros, so I'm going to dismiss it as the ramblings of a fool. <laughs> I'm sure you don't mind that assessment. I mean, maybe you can't explain things to people, but don't know why you'd blame me. You're being toxic as fuck there, see, bros. I'll have you know, I'm not toxic. Uh, even though... Hit block catcher with who? How does that chain anybody? You lunatic. Shut up. <laughs> Nah, that's shit. I mean, I see what you mean now, but it's shit. Oh, dub skulls, I told you. Yeah, no, I, I get what you mean. I thought you were trying to push the, the, the dancer there. I thought you were trying to push the witch elf. Which was obviously stupid and wouldn't work. But yeah, ch chain out the carrier. If you'd said chain out the carrier, I would have got it. Yeah. Unfortunately, it being live is too. It's too. It's too late to now explain that to people who didn't see it. But um, that wasn't a good idea anyway. I feel confident in saying it wasn't a good idea. When you can just like so. It was a catcher with a ball. I'd have been a bit more tempted. Wouldn't it? Even though they've got dodge, but still, I'm still not sure. I don't like one D's. Really don't like one D's. And the witch roll the double skull anyway, right? So just taking the surf as a well, attempting the surf. And to your question, um. To your question, Seabros, <laughs> I know I don't play this game. <laughs> yeah, honestly, people call me toxic. Like, literally two people just randomly called me toxic. Like, I just don't... It's just like a buzzword, isn't it? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Loan a reroll. Wait, wait, what? Reroll the take root. Oh dear. It's not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Um. Yeah, so. Like, okay, I get it's frustrating to lose your blitz. 
but you've got two rerolls, it's not worth using one on something where the reroll might not work. Um, and as it happened, it did work and then rolled another one anyway, so yeah, I, I think that was a bad decision, I'll be honest, and that's why, because you've only got two rerolls. There's a chance it doesn't work. And it's not that critical, right? Like, who cares if you hit this guy? Like, it's not really the end of the world. Um, like, surely the the goal... Like, it, it seems like Worthy Dervish is trying to play for a turn 8's goal. Um, misspelled Tree has already surfed a player. Um, can surf this one this turn. Um, can surf this catcher this turn. So, um, you know, it's probably... How, isn't, I would have definitely surfed this catcher. Well, I say that, uh, I'm turning into Seabrot here. I would have definitely attempted to surf this catcher. You blitz with a player, a blitzer here. Blitz the catcher to there, which I'll punch us twice. This guy surfs. It's an easy surf, 100% to go for that. So you also get, did it on three dice as well. Really good surf. I think this was bad by misspell tree to not surf this catcher. And that was a really good surf to do. Of course, the three dice were the POW, so it was a great play to not attempt to surf this catcher. <laughs> Absolutely the right thing to do to not try and surf this catcher. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you see, so now the ball's tagged, um, doesn't have dodge on the player with the ball, doesn't have catch on the dancer that you really want to hand it off to to break away. Um, so now, you know. The roll of one. I've got to use the reroll. Uh, no. I'm stuck in sight, as I have to say. It's just obviously a joke. It was definitely best to try and serve. Um, well, I think it was definitely best to, to try and serve. I mean, I guess this puts a bit more. Like, this does put more. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't definitely better to serve. But this does put more immediate pressure on. Which, given the context of the game. Well, you absolutely have to win and you know there's an argument for putting more pressure on here but also serving plays is really good it's still early in the drive still plenty of time to force an early score or get the turnover because still put on nearly as much pressure while surfing the catcher so i think going for the catcher was better and yeah this is a lot of trouble for Whirly Dervish. I don't really know what the correct play is here. Maybe it's uh, not one dicing this guy. Um, okay, that's okay, right? It's okay, but the thing is, if you've done it with this one, okay, you're less likely to knock him over, but it means you've got the dancer there that you can hand off to, maybe. So... Oh... Gonna keep the ball where it is. Oh dear. Oh my days. This looks. Uh, this looks badong. I mean, even the rolling powers doesn't doesn't help, does it? Uh, this looks. This looks horrendous. For the woodies. Horrendous. Where's the wrestling bean? Well, Laraktarkus, this is the this is the thing. It was so good, wasn't it? What what I thought about doing was doing it like once a month. I did think about doing it once a month, like when the uh, you know when the pay per views were on in real life. Because the problem with the wrestling is, it's a lot of work for like basically no reward, which you know isn't. <laughs> As far as ideas go, it's not it's not a not really a winning one, is it? <laughs> it's not it's not a great strategy. So um I feel like there had to be a, a cleverer way of doing things here for Tree. Um I don't know what it was, but you know, like kind of like Seabro's earlier idea to try and change somebody out. This is great if it's a POW, but if it's not a POW, all of a sudden it's all a bit messy. So maybe there was some kind of uh cleverer way of doing things. Uh, you know, maybe his, maybe his tree should have like, spent a minute or something at the start of the turn and just instantly doing that hit. Maybe he should have thought about some kind of like, you know, like maybe he's 
I don't know what it would be, but you know, maybe some kind of push in there and blitz this dancer or something. There was maybe there was maybe some kind of cleverer play that was possible, but I, I didn't look for it at all. Because I was thinking about wrestling. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, so that's the question about the wrestling. Um, yeah, this one, like this being a one day sucks, right? So I'm sure there was probably a well, I'm not sure. But surely there was a way to make it a 2D. Like, get, get something better than just punching that dancer instantly. Um, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Like, you know, I enjoyed I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it and that. And uh, I, I really enjoyed, like, its existence and stuff. And I know lots of people did. Well... I use lots in the... Wow! What a scattering catch. I use <laughs> lots in a, uh, you know, <laughs> tiny streamer on Twitch kind of way. Oh my goodness. Um, obviously not lots as in millions <laughs> or <laughs> hundreds of thousands or anything. But yeah, there was a bunch of people who enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, the problem is it's like, it's actually... Especially when like Skuro was doing it properly, like it, it it was an insane amount of work for Skuro when he did it, and he, even just doing it like the dumb way that I did it was quite a lot of work. So it's, I don't know, maybe, maybe once a month. Uh, that's why I'd like to do it once a month. I'd like to do it once a month, but um, I every now and then somebody mentions it, and I think, yeah, I would like to do it once a month, but then, oh my goodness. Maybe should have handed it off, right, the Blitzer. Maybe should have just not done anything. Not going to re-roll. Oh, I did re-roll and roll the one. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, the running away isn't even that good, right? Like, it's just, it's kind of not that good. Because, like, where do you go? Right, the catcher catches you, and then you, the dancer's still trying to blitz you anyway. So, like... Interesting. Oh, Knorr, thank you very much. Massive raid. Absolutely glorious. Um, <laughs> welcome to this uh, this game <laughs> of Blood Bowl for the NAF kickoff. And it's not the NAF kickoff event, that was last year. I won that event, just quietly. Um, the NAF World Championship Qualifier. Um, there is the thinnest chance of Miss Beltree qualifying. It looks like Whirly Dervish's time is up here. He's got absolutely brutally outplayed um, <laughs> and is, yeah, it's, it's bad. That was a terrible, terrible leap. Dodging was better. Um, strictly better. There is no tackle on Tree's team. So simply dodging to here is minus three. You've got, you've got dodge. So was, oh dear. Yeah, I didn't. I I thought honestly, Tree's dodge away was probably better off just handing off to the blodger or um, or just keeping hold of it. But I mean, now it's now it's uh, the drive is looking nearly over. Not the match. There is there is a bit of match to be played. Tree actually has a reserve, right? So um so could foul the dancer, could foul the tackle dancer as an option. Probably would like to. No rerolls now, so definitely want to make safe moves first. Should anyway, of course, but people don't. I mean, surely this this blitz is going to pick up the ball, right? Yeah. And now Tree can probably just go for the two nil. I think I think now Tree just stalls this out, tries to win two nil, and then um, if that holds up, 
And Mishanda is on 13 points with 9 touchdowns. Miss Valtteri can get the 13 points with 10 touchdowns and plus 7, which will be very, very, very strong. There'll be half a chance. There'll be half a chance for Tree if this uh, if this goes as expected. But still needs a lot of help from other results. But yeah, this is looking very a very strong two in the This is nice, isn't it? <laughs> There's no exclusive broadcasting rights. Uh, can't log on. Hello, uh, you know she's streaming as well. You, you can watch it on her channel too. I was just, uh, I just decided to do all of the, uh, all of the playoff games because I thought, you know, why not? It's a, it's kind of interesting. But yeah, I would I would like to do it once in a while. I think I asked Rick. I think I think Rick was up for it. So, but yeah, the problem is the problem is just not thinking about it. The, the, the main problem with the wrestling is just not thinking about it. And people will occasionally mention it, or like you know, some wrestling will happen. Like I didn't even know SummerSlam was happening. So if I didn't, like if I was into wrestling, like if I was into the real wrestling, then I would time, you know, I could have done like you know a similar kind of storyline, right? Do similar storylines and uh, and then have the JFW version. But um, but yeah, not really into wrestling. This is uh, this has been a massacre, hasn't it? Stanza Rappold. Lino Kaz, Lino Kaod. Turned over. Confalk has got the reserve. Absolutely bottom. Yeah, like do doing work sucks. <laughs> at the best of times uh, but you know normally if you do work you get paid don't you so like unless it's uh, unless it's really 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 fun it's really like, you know like doing this is fine right it's fun um, and doing the uh, doing the wrestling was fun but it's got to be really fun to do work <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Timmy, you see? You can get paid by uh, having fun with your friends, right? That's great. That's the only pay you need, isn't it, Timmy? Having a good... Having a good chat with your friends is, is the reward itself. Having fun playing a video game, you know, that, that's okay, right? But, but when the fun stops, stop. That's it. Hello, Final Masquerade. Um, it is... Well... Oh my goodness. It has now changed from Claw, Mighty Blow, Piling On to All About Fouling. Um, sneaky Get Dirty Player is the new Killers. Very, very brutal fouling. Um, and also, like, in the Bash games... Oh, fuck. Yeah, no. Well, I tried. I can't even change my adverts either. Only needs one C pros, really, honestly. A tree only needs one reroll. Uh, a tree only needs another touchdown. 
Yeah, exactly. The right way. If it made a bunch of money, then I would put a lot of effort in. <laughs> like, you know what I mean, like obviously, right? <laughs> like, if I was getting paid, if I was getting paid a decent wage to do uh to to do GFW, I would totally do. It. They actually can't see bros. So this is the thing, right? This is the thing. So we we'll, we we'll look at this. Shanda scored two. Oh god, that's the one fucking thing. Irata, Irata. Shanda scored two. Kalon's lost. Seabros and Niaga need to draw. They're out of the equation. Kalik needs to draw or lose. Out of the equation. I've already got a. I've already qualified. I'm out of the equation. So therefore, the only people, the only people that Tree is against, is Shanda, who she's already beaten if she wins two 0 and Devo and Toure. To Devo, she's already beaten if Devo loses. If Toure loses, well. It's very, very, very... I mean, well, no, it's almost certainly, right? Because Tour would have to lose 3-2 to to um, to beat Tree. So, because Tree will have a better touchdown difference, right? If Devo wins 2-1, then that's a plus-3 touchdown difference, and Tree's on plus-7. So, it Tree really only needs 2-0. Um, there's basically no difference between 2-0 and 3-0 for Tree. So, there you go. There you go. I mean, to be fair, like the fact that this has gone so well, um, the two cars, how easy it was for Tree to turn over um, Whirly Dervish. In Tree's position, I'd probably go for the 3 0. But it's, uh, yeah, the, the chances of Vandy beating Tour 3 2 is like ridiculously minimal isn't it and you drawing and me winning and stuff do you know what I mean like all the things that have to go right anyway is so like it's so unlikely to matter this being a 2-0 or a 3-0 but having said that um, might as well might as well just score right like, might as well score it like that was that was such an easy defence for Tree I'd be very much trying to uh, go for 3 I mean I like I did in my last game right like even though uh even though it was unlikely for for touchdown difference to matter for me um and I'm not trying to qualify I still went for the third um so yes I would say she will go for the three to f not not three and one half but three total yeah but then still that then Andy would have to win four three which definitely isn't happening so but looking at it, uh, Tree has given the ball to this blitzer, which is quite far back. Yeah, if three's better than two. <laughs> and it's really easy to win three one instead of two nil, right? Like it's really easy. I would have definitely I would have definitely given like the touchback to say this guy and then blitzed into a cage here and stuff and pushed down the side, yeah, I think. I guess this guy can just run up then. Yeah. I'd have already moved him up. I would, I would go for that. I would push. I would push for the thing. I guess the thing is, yeah, you can play a bit safer by not doing that, right? There's still a dancer. There's still a dancer around, so maybe you do just play it safe. But the thing is, by playing it safe, they might just turn you over anyway, right? So, yeah, I'd bang, it. I'd bang in the 2 nil pretty quickly. Oh, or rather attempt to bang in the 2 nil rather quickly. Because the two one is no worse than the two nil either. Like you know, saying that the three three touchdowns aren't really better than the two, the two one isn't really much worse than the two nil either. Very good, Dimmy. Yep, I did lose three nil once in my life, yes. <laughs> so now it's every time I dacker I lose three nil. <laughs> That was like the only game that that team lost to me, <laughs> apart from the final, I guess. <laughs> Did, or was it the semi? I can't remember. If I got the final or the semi. I think I got the final. It was about like it was like pretty much the only game that t team lost in its entire existence. But will never not be mentioned by Dimmy. <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is a bit of a problem, right? For tree, uh, these two split off. The tree in between, uh, split team is not good. Wow, Dimmy, you're you're toxic. You know, you know, I got called toxic on Reddit today, Dimmy, but you are the actual toxic. Too soon, Dimmy. Too soon. 
She was my favourite player. My favourite player, man. It's like maybe HK here. Why I was on Reddit, it's a pretty funny. Uh, Arts made a, a a poll saying, "Don't, don't recommend Bonehead podcast for advice." And Reddit is reacting as you would expect Reddit to react, <laughs> which is uh, made for amusing occurrences. No. Oh. Yeah, kick it. This is a this is a bit of a dicing, isn't it? This is a bit of a dicing. I mean also completely outplayed as well, I would say, uh Whirly Dervish, no offense. It's not toxic, is it, to say somebody played better than somebody else? So uh Yep. So that's turn two, turn three, turn four. Turn four score is going to be tricky. And then turn five isn't really giving you enough time to, to get a third, realistically. I like I like just going on Reddit. Honestly, like the thing about Reddit is, you know, I can try to help people, right? Never the person asking for help. <laughs> <laughs> because the person asking for help has already made their mind up and uh, only wants affirmation. But somebody else reading it could get help. You know, somebody else could read something and be like, oh yeah, that Jimmy fella's pretty clever, isn't he? I'll, I'll, I'll do what he says. So, you know, so I could help somebody. And then also, I can laugh at other people. So it's win win, really. Quite enjoy Reddit and Blood Bowl 3 Discord. There was a time when, uh, you know, the level of stupidity would annoy me, but now, now I just laugh. Oh my god, he does the re roll again. <sighs> this wasn't even a blitz, it was just a move. Dear. Oh dear, that is, that's not good. So again, seeing as somebody said, I should explain why things aren't good. <laughs> it's not good because it's not good. <laughs> you, you know, 50% of the time you're throwing a reroll at there. And even if it works, okay, well done, you get to move a tree. No big whoop. It's, it's low payoff. It's low payoff. Low priority. Wasn't a turnover. So it's not even saving a turnover, right? Like mostly reroll save turnovers. It's not a turnover. You're not saving a turnover. You're getting a tiny bit of equity of like moving a tree. It's no big deal. It's, it's just not good. Not good. Looks like Tree's happy for the 2-0. Um, but yeah, probably should have gone for the 3 1. Or, you know, possibly 3 0. I feel very confident here with Tree that I would win 3 0. So I would, I would have definitely, not, you know, not rolled crazy dice to push for it, but I would have definitely try and do it. I mean, Willie Dervish had finished 10th out of, uh, or 9th or whatever out of 50 people, so that had done alright, but, uh, been some questionable, uh, decisions. You'll be happy to know that I've got no idea, Baron Bucky. Oh, oh, the, uh, the positions. Positions, red's a blitzer, yellow's a catcher, and white's a thrower. For positionals. 
for skills, I would imagine blue is block because it begins with a B. Green is guard because it's it begins with a G. Red's mighty blow because it hurts people. And uh, white is wrestle because it starts with a W. That's what I'd think for the uh, for the skills, but that's pure guessology. Whereas I, you know, the the positionals are from the second edition Blood Bowl, where I can still remember that. I can still remember 34 years ago. Oh my god. I can do me, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I can fully, I have like full recall of uh, the Blood Bowl, the Blood Bowl Second Ed rule book, handbook, compendium, star players. It was Companion, actually, not Compendium. There you go. It wasn't even Compendium, it was Companion. That's I, I know that. So, yeah. Yep. It wasn't the worst game ever, Blood Bowl 2nd Edition, but it was you know, had a lot of problems. Mostly it was just too, too complicated and slow. Oh, I don't like that. That could have been a dodge, right? Could have dodged on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was way better dodging, but dodging around the back. So you've got the skill reload. Like not way better. Oh god, and then cut the corner with this one. Um, way better. As, oh my god, rerolled it. No, I hate that. I hate the reroll there. I hate the reroll because like literally could have just been one square back, right? This is this is something that Tree does a lot. We'll just cut this corner, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Just cut that corner. So I guess this player was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This player was here. Could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And been here or here. Could have been here or here. It's barely worse. Barely worse. And saves your reroll. But that's that's one of the things I I would say that's the biggest the biggest leak in um in Miss Peltry's game, or the most readily apparent one anyway. Maybe the biggest, yeah, biggest, most obvious one, is uh, is this constant corner cutting. And then, funnily enough, the witch elf would have been better cutting the corner because that would have brought the witch elf's dodge into play uh, rather than having it do a GFI. But yeah, this was just a completely unnecessary corner cut. Yes, it's getting you know a sliver of equity being one square ab above, but it's not worth. It's absolutely not worth the risk of uh, failure, or in this case, using a reroll. Okay, so I guess there is a, I mean, I'm surprised, but um, Wojtovich is going for the ball sack here with absolutely zero recovery. Um, so, there, you know, you could argue if the Witch Elf was one square back, the leap in would have been easier. Um, but then also, you know, would you even care if the, if he got sacked here? No. No, you would not. Yeah, the Styrofoam pitch, yeah. Red book with the cheerleader on the front, yep, yep. And the star players was yellow with like, you know, not Griff Overworld, but a, uh, a star player. Emote game, yeah. No, that's, honestly, that's super noticeable. Uh, so many times the, um, the corner cutting. Could surf this player here. What would Andy Davo do? Ah, oh, it doesn't go for the surf. Boo. I mean, that wouldn't go for the surf either, but... You know. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my, what a, di what a dicing this is. Like, I do think Tree's played a lot better than Bloody Dervish, but... Wow, what a dicing. And you know, probably could have got the three 0 Like almost certainly would have got the three 0 I think. Probably. Well, I say that. It's e it is easy for the what else to roll some dice, right? But still, I think if if she'd gone in on like turn two or three, would have like won three 0 or three one. So yeah, I think that was. The good thing is that it's not really heartbreak for uh, Worthy Dervish and Kalon earlier because they, they're so unlikely to qualify. 
you know, even like Tree and Shamba who won. Well, now Shamba's basically done now, right? Shamba is done by Tree winning. Um, he needed this game to be a draw. Uh, did Shamba? I guess it's still possible, right? Somehow, somehow this player is there and not there yet. <laughs> Cast. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Tree absolutely kicking herself now, throwing away the 3-0. Does have a slim chance of the 3-0. Still it still should go in here. Winning 2-0 and 2-1 is absolutely no difference. So yeah, it should it should have banged it in earlier. But um a slim chance for a third touchdown here. Six players. Five elves, two re-rolls to turn them over. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. So the good thing is don't have to sympathise too much with Kaelon or Worthy Dervish for losing because yeah they got so like even after the win tree's got so little chance. Basically needs uh Needs Devo Toure match to be decisive. Needs me to win or draw versus Kalik. And needs C Bros to draw with Nyanga. The dead, the cast, and the rooted, yes. <laughs> and there's another root, yep. Yep. Yep, that was uh this has been <laughs> a pretty ridiculous game. But you know, but still one of those games right where the dice are horrendous, but the play wasn't great, so you know that's something that you can think about if you want. <laughs> if not, don't. <laughs> yes, can I? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. That was, uh, you know. I think Art did his best to be reasonable, right? By like saying Bonehead Podcast are like great at all the other stuff. But um yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? Team in a Tupperware line with paper towels. Do you know what I did once, Baron Bucky? Um I I had like a tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> and then had had my team in a Tupperware lined with uh, actual foam, like proper Games Workshop foam. I, I cut out the foam from a from a like a a case, a carry case, put it in a Tupperware container, and then put on a tool belt. So me and my buddy had tool belts with our teams on. It was pretty great. So that that made it very good for, for going out on the piss afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> So, so we went there and went, went out with our teams in in two belts. <laughs> Very good for drinking. And there you go. All these other all these other losers were there with their uh, with their with their backpacks, and we were like, well, "Hey, we don't give a shit. We just got two bags on." <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was the best. It was the best uh, best strat for Blood Bowl team. Um, transportation. If I ever went back, that's what I'd do again. Oh no! I, since then, I got the like one of the oh, what are they called the KF. Are they KF or something like KF case? Something like that. Um, I got I got some of those those cases like they they're really good. I got one of those little little one of those. 
Maybe next year, Dimmy. Oh, genuinely, Dimmy, maybe next year, just because it's you. You'll have to get a better club, though, because I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> no offence. <laughs> If I'm on a team, I want to be the worst player on the team. That's that's the thing. I did it. I did it last time. I was at UKTC with Pete W, Endzone, and uh, Malmia. So <laughs> I want to be the worst player on the team. That's my condition. Well, made the handoff, but it doesn't do a lot. Honestly, like, he can't do anything. Like, he can't win. So, the problem now is, obviously, what he could do is, for a joke, just, like, pass it to Trees Blitzer. Because, why not, right? Like, trying to score to lose 2-1 doesn't matter. Hiding in the end zone to only lose 2-0 instead of 3-0 doesn't matter. Throwing it to the Blitzer to lose 3 0 doesn't like none of these results matter at all to Whirly Dervish. Um, you could argue, you know, to respect the to respect the integrity of the competition, passing it to the opponent is bad. But what's the right player? Try to lose two 0 Like, is that better than trying to lose two one? Who can say? I mean, it doesn't I wouldn't really want to particularly uh, see which was the correct thing to do. Can this Blitzer get there? Yeah, so the Blitzer picks it up, passes to the Witch Elf, who then hands it off. Um, I guess now just passes it to this Blitzer then. Oh, wait, can this guy score? No. Wait, can this guy reach? No. I don't understand what this guy is doing. Not even trying for the three. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, we wow, wow. Oh, wow. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, can't score. So, just end the turn. End the flipping turn, man. Interesting though, isn't it? I wonder what like the the morally correct play for Worthy Dervish was the turn before, because you can argue obviously that passing it to Tree would have been unfair because But then, you know, if you've already lost, it's literally I guess You should try and you should try to minimize touchdown difference if possible, right? Because that's what you'd do if it was an early round. Or, well, you can't you can't equalise. So therefore, your duty to the tournament is to minimise touchdown difference, which means either cower for the three for the two nil loss, or try for the two one loss. Yeah, I guess either's fine, right? Whichever you think is higher odds. I know that's a super interesting thing. That's what my brain thinks about because I'm an idiot, but um, it didn't matter anyway. Commiserations to Worley Dervis. Congratulations and commiserations to Shamba. That also eliminates Shamba there from contention. So Shamba, Worley Dervish, and Kaelon are out. Misspell Tree now is on 13 points with 10 touchdowns and a plus 7 difference. So, unless Devo beats Toure 3 2 or 4 2 or something, um, 
if this match is decisive, to reverses Dave, or if that match is decisive, and if I beat or draw versus Kalik, and if Niagara and Seabros draw, then Miss Beltree can qualify. So there is a chance, but it does need. I mean, it's not that crazy, right? Like this match will be it is high high odds to be decisive to reverses Dave. High odds to be decisive because they, you know, draw basically isn't good enough for either of them. Basically, it's mm, very dodgy. For, the draw is very dodgy for Dave, or, and it's probably all right for two. Well, it, you know, yeah, it depends. It depends if Kalik wins. So there's a, there's a few things. Yeah, if Kalik wins, that puts the cat amongst the pigeons. Big style because he's got the best touchdown difference of them. So Kalik winning can be very bad for Dave and Toure. If Kalik draws or loses, then all of a sudden them two drawing looks a lot better but then even then if they draw Seabros takes one spot and then Davo's out so yeah drawing is always bad for Davo always bad for Davo but there's a chance that Seabros and Iaga draw Kalik and I draw and then the draw is good for Toure and Davo um, so it's it's interesting interesting one but there is there is the tiniest chance for Tree now has a dominant uh, touchdown difference of plus seven and 10 touchdowns for means that if these lose their touchdown difference well fall and difference will be worse so yeah got the best chance to maybe get an outside chance and there you go that is it thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic